My name is Benson Karikawe Bagonza. I'm a bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Tanzania, Karagwe Diocese. That is on the upper northwest part of Tanzania. When I became a pastor, I was posted in a rural area and therefore grew up to understand the root cause of the suffering and the problems the people were facing. So when I became a bishop, that was something that really was in me, to try to transform the communities where I grew up and to try to work with them to solve a lot of challenges. We are talking about 90% of the population there relying on subsistence fund. The idea of starting an agricultural university in Karagwe was born, where I gathered ideas and together as communities we thought the agricultural university would accompany the effort to transform communities in Karagwe, especially farming communities. And now we are moving to the crucial stage so we're about to launch a big project on Rural Opportunity Center whereby farmers are going to be working together to deal with the markets, to add value on their products. And by that, we will have transformed farming communities in Karagwe. For many years, the biggest problem facing farmers was the middlemen who come in buy products at a very cheap price and sell them at a higher price, which means the farmers were being exploited. So in response to that problem, we came out with the idea of establishing rock, whereby farmers will be able to collect their products centrally to the Rural Opportunity Center and thereby creating the possibility of setting the price of which they want. But rock has another very fundamental aspect and that is food processing, whereby those products that cannot be sold in a raw form, they can be processed at rock added a value and therefore be sold in a, in, a, in a way that brings more money, but also processed and creating jobs for other stakeholders who are involved in the process of food processing. And therefore, ROC will have those two functions. Number one, creating a sustainable market that do not exploit the farmers. Number two, adding value by processing the products. Rock brings in another unexpected component, which is very beneficial to Karuko. And that is, Rock becomes a training center where students from Karuko could do internship to learn how to do food processing. So Rock is providing an opportunity for students to learn hands-on experience of how to produce food, to process it, and to sell it. The processes of forming rock are based on the ideas we gathered from the, the rural areas. So working with the rural communities has been from the beginning in terms of collecting data and information. There is no place anymore for individualism. We have to work together and rock is one but yet an example of trying to bridge to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor, between the West and South, between all peoples of Kara. And therefore, I would like to make another concerted appeal for those who really subscribe to that idea to generously give to ETI so that rock can be realized.